and then you now have to go through each of them so um, promulgated contracts this basically tells you has a committee of workers and lawyers we study for the test so that's why you see blue so the blue welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if this is the first time you're seeing me thank you so much for clicking this video and wanting to watch it and if you're a returning subscriber huge hats to you thanks for supporting your girl the way you do if this is the first time you're seeing my face my name is adobe okonkwa i am an nigerian content creator who makes videos about productivity lifestyle building a career and living my best life and if those are videos that interest you then consider clicking the red button down below that says subscribe and joining the family make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I have a new video up on my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a Sunday reset. Nothing much happening other than I'm going to be going to class today. My classes actually started yesterday, so it was like a full day, 8 to 4.45. And then I started heading home yesterday, so there was nothing special that happened yesterday. Today, same thing, but I figured I should just like vlog because, um, I don't know, I just feel like vlogging. And I haven't vlogged in a while, so maybe that's why. Yes, to give you guys a quick context, I know I've been telling you guys I wanted to get into real estate. And I, I wanted to specifically get my real estate license here in Texas. So I got a civil last year, October or sometime around August, September, right? And I had been doing that course for since then. Like anytime I get a free time, I just like jump on it and try to complete it. And since October last year to September this year, I have only managed to complete one full course. And then I'm currently working on the second one. And let me tell you for context, that course is like it is a lot. And let me show you guys because you guys will be thinking that I'm exaggerating because you guys might be thinking oh she's exaggerating there's no way that i'm just being lazy well let me show you so so you have six courses to complete right and then you have some additional prep materials so this is the current one i'm working on principles of real estate too so when you when you click that you have at least 15 of this and each of these has at least 15 of the same and then you now have to go through each of them so average pages for each of this is like 15 pages and I'm like, well, there's absolutely no way I'm going to self-motivate myself and um, like get it done. So I've been wanting to do the in-person classes or at least the real life virtual option. That way I'm able to knock it out like really fast because I'm forced to do it. And at the end of the day, I was like, oh, it's not like, why would I go spend almost a thousand dollars trying to do this? I'd already paid about $400 for the other one. I'm going to stick with the other one and complete it, but it wasn't working. So I had to use my credit card to pay for the champion school of real estate and let me tell you best decision ever because when i was in class yesterday i was actually understanding what they were saying and the way the class goes as they are going through the chapters they're going to actually tell you okay expect this question because at the end of each chapter um, at the end of each course you need to take an exam so when you take the exam you would have like six certificates then you take those six certificates and then apply to do the actual texas real estate exam which if you now pass i think the pass mark is like 70 or 80 then get your real estate license so for the exam for each of the courses they will actually tell you watch out for this question coming out in the test so there's no way you will fail let you guys know because i actually have my first exam today immediately after the class today so i did a little bit of studying for the ones they taught us yesterday so today when i get there early i'll study it again and then read the one to four family home contract because they asked us to read it like three times so i would read it like front to end and then attend to this class pay extra attention to the questions it says are going to come out and once I'm done, I'll just quickly do a quick switch. So once I finish this class, I'll tell you how best to take them because I had bought a notebook, I'd taken my iPad, I ended up not using them because it didn't make any sense. The lecturer was talking really fast, not extremely fast, but not enough time to write on my iPad and then write on the book and highlight in the book. So the best way to do it is get your sticky notes, get your bookmarkers, get your highlighters and just be making notes on your, on your like sticky notes and pasting it and highlighting the questions he says are going to come out. 
so that is pretty much um how everything i know i rambled a little bit but i just wanted to give you guys context on how it works so the rest of my classes are actually virtual this was the only one that was in person and i did that so i could collect my books so they gave me six hefty ass books they are downstairs i only have the first one so the first class i'm taking is um promulgated contracts this basically tells you about the major contracts you use if you're selling residential homes um trek which is the texas real estate um, something commission has a committee of brokers and lawyers who do who created a set of forms for you a uh, contract template for you to use in your transactions what i mean by taking sticky notes this is the best way to take notes like if you decide to go to champion school get a sticky note write whatever you want to write Re most of the times they are reading the notes and then sometimes they will just make a point and i'll just put it on a sticky note and then i highlight like text so the blue highlighter you want to have two highlighters one will be to highlight the ones they tell you to restudy for the test so that's why you see blue so the blue ones are going to come out in the test and then the pink ones are just random things that i wanted to highlight things like definitions or things that you just went over twice so i find that this is the best way to take notes but ask me again by the end of two and i'll let you guys know and i'm assuming it might be a little bit different for the virtual world but i plan to stick to the same method because that works really great you know the best way to do it is to put it on the you see the blank page at the end of each of the chapters i just highlighted the all the questions it was telling us to watch out for that could come out that could come out so i just have them there and when i'm done reading each chapter i just go over those questions trying to answer them within the context of what i just read so that is pretty much it i i'm so excited i can't wait to get my real estate license and yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to go downstairs and make a quick breaky lately i've not been seen just because anytime i eat something it doesn't really settle so like i'm hungry but i don't want to eat at the same time if you know what i mean so i'm going to go downstairs and try to get something to eat but i don't even know what i'm going to get to eat maybe i'll cut some watermelon and put it in my um, plate for today and then take some banana bread as well maybe make a smoothie i think i'll make a smoothie because that's usually feeling but i no longer like blueberry smoothies i bought um this mango pineapple mix and i bought coconut water so maybe i'll do that instead because i want something sweet so i'll do that take some banana bread and then take some watermelon watermelon might be i don't like see i don't i don't want to do a single thing that requires me to use energy so but the watermelon was sweet and i don't want it to spoil so something has got to give so i'm gonna i'm gonna take it let's go downstairs i'm gonna call my mom And the place is actually on the on the day that there's no traffic it's about for seven minutes from the house there's traffic it's like one hour 20 you're lucky so and because it's weekend um not a lot of traffic so i'm grateful for that but yeah i am so excited let's go downstairs <laughs> tends to be really really cold so i'm gonna take a jacket i made the mistake of but thankfully i wore long sleeve but even with the long sleeve it was still really 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 cold so just something to note make sure you take your like some form of sweater or something put it in a plate and then put it in the fridge okay, another thing i wanted to show you that i got i got some my micro needling kit dr pen i want to be looking fresh and like wearing less makeup so i'm investing in how my my skin looks so this is the dr pen micro needling m8 right it came in the box itself it came with Comes with two cartridges for the head as the actual needles. Come with, comes with a template um, manual. Then I got some serums to actually do the micro needling with. This is, um, I think this is for anti aging. This is hyaluronic acid. And they are so expensive, like $16, $16.99 for this small thing. It better work magic. And then this one is collagen. 
So for those serum came with um, caps. So you replace the cap head with this one and then unscrew this and then you're able to use it as an applicator. So they sent me four. I guess they sent an extra one. And then I got replacement head because I didn't want to have to pay another $10 for shipping. Even though they have like standard shipping. I wanted this really fast and they said two, well they did say two to three days. So it actually took three days to deliver and I paid $10 for deliver. Um, some extra needles. And this is a pack of 10. I think this one retail for $40. I'll tell you guys how it goes. I'll show you now once I'm doing it so you guys can get a sense of what it looks like and feels like. So just gonna drink some water. I'm trying to decide if I want to start stressing and cutting. Maybe I should just take this and add ice to make it cool because I don't want to cut another one so I'll just take this one then I made some banana bread two days ago I'll be taking some take the rest of the time to to read what i did for yesterday i'm so tired i'm so hungry too so i think when i'm coming back i'll stop by osman suya to get suya and maybe rice or go to salt and pepper because i think um osman suya is a little bit pricey and the uh, rice is so like so small I've been eating rice, so I don't want to eat rice. I think I'll I want to do so. so. Maybe I'll go to Salt and Pepper after class and buy. A Let's go. Wish me luck, and I hope I pass. So my skin is literally given. It is given so much. Like what? Deixa que o amor invade a porta da tua casa. Deixa que o carinho seja o beijo de uma flor. Pequenino que eu sei que o amor é cura, amolece a dor e ingratidão. Desde pequenino que eu sei que o amor perdura, basta ter carinho e compreensão. actually came in early 7 52 they i think they opened the doors at um eight o'clock so i have approximately eight minutes to just um finish up reread what i was reading you see the jacket that i told you guys that i was going to take because it gets really cold here i forgot it at home and i literally put it on top of my bag so i wouldn't forget so i'm shocked that i still now went and forgot it at home i'm so pissed like that is just the dumbest thing ever but yeah i'm actually <sighs> excited to wrap up my first course and then just get through this as fast as possible how are you all doing i hope you all are having a great week and yeah i'll see you in class let me take the rest of the time to just and i forgot to tell you guys so i went to this spa i went to this um spa thing about almost a month ago or a couple of several weeks ago so i did a massage which was okay yeah the massage was just okay 
and i was wondering why it was so expensive for that massage i paid 115 dollars so at the end of my massage the lady gave me a coupon so a 50 dollar coupon meaning if i come back to the spa i won't have to pay an admission fee because the admission fee is um the admission fee is 50 dollars i've had the coupon in my bag for a while and um it actually expires tomorrow september 16th so i'm like you know what after my class i'm gonna stop by there and just use it so there was a particular thing i did the last time i went there so they have like saunas all sorts of saunas oxygen rooms as well so i think i'm going to do the oxygen room i think i'm going to do the oxygen room and then do sauna like just to get my blood pumping and you know what else i'm going to do i'm also going to do the water dip so the water dip is a naked only zone you have to completely undress the other women there completely undress naked so they have like this jacuzzi sort of like pool where you go in and just sit in is like warm water i'm telling you that shit is best like i came out feeling so so of course i took off my clothes i entered into the warm and i was there for like good five minutes and it was just as if you know the warm water was like sucking out all the stress and all the like anxiety that i've been like everything was like sucked out of me and it was the best feeling ever as if that wasn't enough i now went and showered they have a shower head and i put it on cold and oh my goodness i can't tell you how amazing the feeling was like it felt so good i felt so relaxed after doing it so i'm definitely going to go there today um so let me just confirm what time they close so they close 12 12 a.m every day so i can actually go immediately after classes so after class i'll just go but i have to find something to eat but in the meantime i think i'm going to eat what my watermelon just to get a little bit of energy because i'm feeling slightly dizzy and tired so i can see people coming because it's almost eight o'clock no. so i just finished my first class and i was so scared like going into the exam and i, I also told you guys but baby girls called 100 100 even the professor was so shocked but then he was like oh thank you for asking great questions um i was shocked i was like what 100 no way and then i saw him like they use this tech thing where it scans your you know where you circle and then it immediately tells you what you score so i saw 100 percent there he gave me my certificate i am so excited to have completed one course five more to go and we'll get ready to start writing the um the actual real estate exam so like i told you guys i have this coupon that i can actually use at a spa so i'm going to be headed to the spa so i can just have a relaxing time before start before heading home this week is going to be so busy because it's the week before we go live for our lunch so a lot of things are going to be happening this week so i'm gonna just take today and rest and yeah i'll see you guys when i get there or when i get home bye guys <laughs> Hey guys so i just arrived the king spa and sauna it's in denton dallas and yeah i already told you guys about it so much better so i just got back home from classes no actually after class i went to the spa and it was the most relaxing thing my hands are literally shaking my body is literally shaking because i've been in extreme a level of stress like when i told you i've been stressed out i've been stressed out because i really wanted to pass that exam today and i didn't want to have to like go back do you know what i mean i just wanted to knock it out once so i'm happy that that worked out imagine getting 100 over 100 like weird that means i still got it so the next class i have tomorrow is 
law of contracts they said since i've taken this class this one promulgated um promulgated forms and the the one tomorrow shouldn't be had because it's literally similar so tomorrow let's see principles of real estate too sorry that's what i'll be having tomorrow yeah so hopefully it goes as well as this first class this first class was really good like like i said the, the professor the lecturer was actually telling us where to focus our energy on so it was very helpful i'll show you guys my sandwich my tuna sandwich i'll have this tomorrow as breakfast and i got some well my friend got me he got me um potluck we literally became friends today it was so cool you know so yeah he just got me lunch did he get me this no mm -mm. so i got lunch like the potluck and the sandwiches and then he got our drinks so i don't need to finish it off i'll eat some tomorrow Fridge. Then I went back. I bought egg salad. I bought corn. I've eaten the corn. I showed you guys the corn. This cut up is not tasting nice though. The aftertaste is not giving anymore. You know when you put something inside your mouth, the first time it's going to taste like oh, I'll see if it has sense. Okay, so I think I have enough food for this week no, at least this the next couple of days so this is the one for tomorrow principles of real estate too we'll figure it out because yeah, i don't want to start reading it now my house is so scattered but ah, i'm so tired i'm going to go and rest not just sleep because my body is shaking you know when you're under extreme stress that like your hands now start vibrating and to think i only drank one small cup of coffee i haven't slept all well this whole week so i'm going to take some um what is it called melatonin and allow it to settle and knock me out because if i go to bed now i'm just gonna be pressing my phone or just overthinking so i think what i'll do is i'll take the melatonin and that way i'll be but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i tried to capture as much as possible so i hope give me a thumbs up like this video i will do this video when i'm just so tired Hopefully next week I am going to be taking some PTO so I will use that time to just like knock out editing or as many videos as possible so that you know I can be back on my schedule. So until my next one guys.